All right, Libra. So like I was saying during the preview with the underworld, to me, it is like the death card, but this is going to be about something very specific for some of you that you have been constantly going after, but it doesn't happen and it's not happening for you. And that's where balance is coming through. So now the underworld where all things pause and begin again. And this one is saying that there's going to be a period of time where it feels like things are falling away from your life, especially when it comes to one thing in particular. And I feel like it's one thing, whether it's career relationship, it's falling away now because it's not happening. But it's saying that things are going to feel like they're bare for a little bit, but it's only temporary. It's just that space is being made for you to create better things, new things. But it also says that you need to consider exactly what you have to do to transform your life into something you find easier and more authentic to you. That stuck out to me, especially with balance. Balance says running towards something may chase it away. Be wary of being deceived by your own desires. It talks about chasing illusions, compulsive behavior, self-neglect, needing to honor values. This is, like I said, about something in particular that you've been going after, going after, but it just doesn't happen. And with the underworld, now it's starting to fall away from your life now. And it's it sucks. It's not easy by any means, but it wasn't authentic to you in the first place. All right, Libra. And forgive my voice, sicker than shit this week. All right. Here's your overall, the four swords. Okay. So with this being the overall, we could be talking about the period of silence where there is no communication. You know, this is very much about not wanting to fight anymore, you know, needing to put up those swords and take a time out to think about things. But it's also about recovering, you know, but we could be talking about communication that's just not happening, a separation, maybe for some of you with someone in particular, it just depends here, but we'll see. Oh boy. Yeah. 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 So in the past, the two of cups. So right off the bat, if we're talking about a relationship and this could be any relationship, right? But usually this is like the soulmate card because it's really about two people who are just so wrapped up in each other that nothing else in the world exists. You see everything the same way. You're sharing your feelings, your emotions, everything. So at some point in the past, there was a good connection possibly with a relationship. But like I said, you know, it could be any relationship here, but with the four swords again being the overall, it's silence. You know, there is no more communicating here, but it's really about you needing to take that time out to think about things, to recover, you know, think before you speak in the present, the hangman. So it's either you or the other person here. Somebody's perspective has changed and nothing is really happening. Nothing's able to move forward. You know, this is the limbo. You know, I don't know what to do. How I don't know what decision to make. I don't know how to act. I need to see something. But like I said, with that two of cups being there, it's it, this is very specifically going to have to do with the Libras that are dealing with one person in particular here and the relationship that they have with that person. Are you changing your perspective on how you see this relationship or is it about the other person holding up the show? You know, but again, I'm going back to that four swords and thinking that's you. That's where you're at right now or what you need to at least consider moving forward. Oh, boy. You know, and I don't usually look at the four swords as overthinking things. I, I look at that more as reflection. But when you look at the nine of swords, when you're talking about reflecting back on past actions, it's thinking about all the bad things, right? All those horrible thoughts that are just playing over and over and over again in your mind. Fear, anxiety, regret, despair, all of those fucking things. And it's all in your mind. And it's all because nothing is being said. There is no communication. Things have been put on hold. And I think that a lot of you are moving into this place now where you may be like expecting the worst. And that may be what's preventing you from saying anything or communicating anything. That or, you know, you're waiting on somebody else to do this. And the longer that they take in not saying anything to you, the more that your mind kind of goes off into these places of well, what the hell is going on. 
Okay, your best path to follow the Six of Swords. Whatever it is that is not spoken between you and another person, you are going to have to consider moving on from whatever kind of conflict there has been. Here's one of the things that I talk about when it comes to Six of Swords. It doesn't always show for me that we are moving on completely, like leaving one situation and going to the next. A lot of times it's specifically about the conflict that you have been dealing with, especially mentally here with the sword showing up. This is saying that you, you're going to have to make peace with whatever conflict has happened in the past big time and decide to move on from this now. Can you move on from it? Or is it something that, you know, you feel like you need to speak about? Or is that where you need to change your perspective? But either way, your advice is saying it's time to move on from those things now. Especially if you're trying to get back to a place where you and another person are seeing things the same again. Wow, Libra. Oh, yeah. Okay. So in your environment, strength. And I look at that with the hangman and I think that you know, a, trying to kind of find the inner courage here to, you know, say what needs to be said. And then not only that, but finding the strength to just move on from the things that are not spoken about. It, it's conflict that you already know about. And that's the thing, right? You already know what the issues are. You already know what, you know, the unspoken issues are. And it makes me wonder if for some of you, the reason why you're needing to pull on some inner strength here while, you know, you're dealing with the hangman energy here is because something may have been said and now there's like this silence going on, you know, which can be the case. But like I said, the longer that there's no communication, the worse that it gets for you in the way that you think about it. Wow, Libra. <laughs> Oh, your hopes and your fears, the Three of Swords. And that makes sense to me looking at all of this. You know, not wanting to go through any heartbreak, not wanting to have that separation. But also, especially with the Six of Swords being here, needing to get to a place of forgiveness and understanding. You know, but can you? Can you, though? Because I look at it this way, and I think that if something happened with a relationship or something was said in a relationship specifically having to do with conflicting issues, you or the other person here are like, hell no, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'm not communicating. They're going to have to do it first. It's like stubborn, like, uh, you know, but it's not good. It's not good because what it creates for you is just all these crazy like thoughts. You know, but like I said, the Three of Swords to me makes sense as far as where it's sitting here. You know, but can you? Can you move on from things that have been an issue, have been a problem, things that you've been thinking about, things that you feel like you need to say? You know, can you make peace with it? Or do you feel like if you open up and say something, then it's going to create a heartbreaking situation? Damn, man. Oh, and then coming out the Five of Wands. And here's what I'm going to say to you. Okay, so if you're in this place of the Four Swords, for whatever reason, there is still no communication happening. But if you come out and you start speaking here and you're doing it from a place of the Nine of Swords where all of the worst possible shit is playing out in your mind, it is going to create this like friction, this, you know, misunderstandings, this fighting, right? But it's not the Five of Swords, which is good, but still the Five of Wands is an issue because it's like, you refuse to hear what is being said because your thoughts have already put you in a place of the absolute worst. Oh, a place that may not be the best here looking at her just because of all of this surrounding it. But we'll get to that because this could definitely be about the other person though too. First of all, the lovers and the two of cups, come on now. This is a major relationship. And there are major things happening within this relationship and major choices that you're making based on this. But at some point, things were really good. Now, looking at the tower, what the hell, man? That's like, boom, and everything is just fucking crashing around you. And with the hangman, what do we do now? What do we do now? And then the perspective, again, is changing, whether it's you or the other person or both of you on this relationship because of something that has happened that kind of brought everything crashing down. 
you know, it's like I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting this situation to happen. And that may be what has created the silence with the Four of Swords in the first place. You know, and some of you are trying to find the strength here to kind of continue with this and, and find out what the hell is going on with this relationship. Wow, man. And then you have the Queen of Wands. So here's what I'm going to say about this. Let's, let's talk about the Queen of Wands for a minute. Now, male, female, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, but you guys know how I feel about that. As far as I'm concerned, that could be anywhere in somebody's chart beyond someone in rising. It's more about the personality that's more important to me. So the Queen of Wands, you're talking about on the good side. Somebody who is very passionate, very ambitious, has the fire and drive to get what she wants. She gets attention. She's super attractive. Everybody wants to be around her. But on the reverse side, you're talking about somebody who is like vindictive or like demanding of attention. Now, if you are the Queen of Wands in this situation with the Five of Wands, there is a part of you that I don't think you're demanding attention or anything like that. I think it's more so that what you're putting forward is this, you know what? I'm fine. I'm queen shit. I don't need to be involved with this, but it's the mask, so to speak, here in this situation. And then I go back to the lovers, and I think if we're talking about major choices that you're making in a relationship, remember, the lovers is temptation or the moral high ground here can you move away from the conflict can you move away from these issues that have brought this relationship to this crashing halt can you find the strength here to get past all of these negative thoughts and communicate from a place of i want to move on from this or is it something that you can't let go of and that may be what is kind of going on here with this queen of wands now that could be, though, the other person that you're dealing with. And again, male or female here, but this could be somebody who is <sighs> certainly not thinking about how you feel about what has happened in this relationship. What has happened that made everything kind of like, boom, like, what the hell? Where did this come from? What I would say to you is, you know, again, going back to this. Be careful about the way that you kind of communicate. If you're going to break the silence, if you're going to come out and you're going to say something, you have to come from a place of, I want to move on from this. Even if that means we need to break up or if that means we need to talk about this. Either way, the communication needs to come from a place of, I want to move on from the conflict. The shit's already happened. There's no point in playing it out over and over and over again. You know, but then the battle there, too, could be about, you know, what other things are kind of going on, you know, because with the Nine of Swords, right, your mind could be all over the place going, what the hell else am I going to find out about? You know, but like I said, I, I go back to this and I'm looking at these three in particular, you know, in, in really needing to come from a place of not anger, but, you know, needing to understand so that you can move on from this, right, whatever the conflict was. Holy crap. And, you know, again, guys, like I always say, general messages, you will know if this is your situation. But I, like I said, I, I think this is specifically for Libras who are dealing with a relationship, a very significant one, very significant. Because when you go back to that and you think about it, I mean, think about the tower, right? You've built this tower, but like it always says, it's on false foundation. You know, but we don't realize it until it's been built up so high that all of a sudden it comes crashing down. You're like, what the fuck? It's really about wiping away all the fake shit. It can't hold up. It can't withstand anymore, you know, but you can't stay stuck in the rubble. I mean, it, it totally wipes out any possibility of moving on, you know, it, like I said, it really depends on what that tower is, though, for you. Oh, and then compassion, but you're stuck. You're stuck in the middle of this between the possibilities of what could happen and you being able to have compassion, not just for, you know, having compassion and understanding what is going on with the other person, but more so having compassion for yourself, you know, especially considering that this is, you know, major events that are happening in a relationship for some of you. But as long as you stay stuck, 
in this place of, you know, worst case scenario and not being able to move on from, you know, whatever the conflict is, you're never going to see the possibilities. And then overcoming obstacles, you can overcome anything, right? And that's where the strength needs to come from. Not this, I'm not talking to you anymore. But you're right at the gates. You're right at those gates where, you know, the possibilities open up for this to be a successful situation, even though you're dealing with drastic events. Something that you weren't expecting. That kind of brings this relationship to a crashing halt. Like, you know, that's the big thing here. But you can overcome this. But really, it comes down to you. Can you move on from it? But does moving on mean maybe now is the time to separate? 